No feuding under this roof, true soul. We're all one under the absolute. More's the pity. I'd stick to your own provisions. They've got gnolls working the kitchens here. You're not the first to brave the dark for the absolute. The war camp's are full to bursting. Step wise around the disciple. I've seen her do some dark things in this room. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself! Pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. But how many days of passion will you get out of her? How many nights? The Absolute will give you something that can last. With the Absolute, your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. To take without asking, to feel without doubting, and to kill without consequence. In a word, freedom. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorne. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek.
Indeed. The Absolute's love for him has made him more than mortal. He is unstoppable. Feel her presence in your head again. She grips your mind, squeezing until your vision blurs with pain. The General is the Absolute's chosen. Serving him is a great privilege, one that I'm beginning to doubt you deserve. She's offering a way forward. You would be wise to play along. Indeed. The Absolute's love for him has... There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. the relic must hold to be of such importance general thorn will not leave moonrise without it and i accompanied him it was destroyed shortly after he left moonrise hardly a surprise we're protected here but outside the shadows are hungry Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. The tower doesn't stink like an overstuffed cemetery. Which means Balthazar hasn't returned. So why are you here instead of out there looking for him? Oh, good. I love answering questions. So why are you here? Oh good. I love answering questions. Whatever Balthazar is looking for, it's crucial to the war effort. Wide, gaping sockets that see nothing. And still they seem to watch you. 
think you hear a whisper, but perhaps it was just wind drafting through a dull and empty thing. It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. You are already changed, true soul. Hearing her voice is what brought you here. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. You will serve whether you ascend or fall. And I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. I have my duties, true soul. I'm sure Disciples Rel has given you your... Lifeless eye step. It looks like the other. Another story about the Githyanki Prince.
take it in for the day, I think. I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. I can crack that open. She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. There's eyes in the dark, in the walls. Please, stop looking at me. Please.
Feline eyes the parasite with a glint in her eye, intent clear. Murder. Glorious murder. The cat ignores you, but her eyes stray to a small tunnel hidden in the wall. The message is clear. Stay if you wish, but she will flee at a moment's notice. Shah's blessings upon you. He's trouble. Worse, he's a traitor. Whatever loyalty he had towards Lady Shah is long gone. It would please her greatly to see him meet his long overdue end, I'll wager. If you're sure. Fine. You again. Dar lead on. Greetings. In my years as the Blade, I've witnessed countless cruelties, faced unimaginable evil. But Thorn, he is made of pure hate. The Sword Coast will rejoice when the bastard's fallen. My father is somewhere in this tower. I won't leave him in Thorn's hands. And lest we forget, we've a devil to rescue. Two missions, one destination. <laughs> Not in a mere prison cell, certainly. My guess, Thorn will have confined him in the bowels of the tower. The deeper we dig, the closer we get. What's on your mind? Oak Father, preserve you. I guess I can take care of... Go ahead. I'm... Soldier? You saw the extent of Flo's friendship. She'll lend you a hand, long as she can crush your spirit while she's at it. I knew never to let my guard down around her. But she always made me laugh, even when I least wanted to. If she'd been completely different from who she was, we might have been real friends. The 
Nothing worth reading. Cambian manipulation at its most obvious. I guess she did. Much as it makes me want to puke to admit it. Ugh, devils, you know. Fucking devils. They really screw with you, don't they? Hey. You're staring at me again. I never thought I'd see one in real life. I read about your kind for so many years, but you are a finer specimen than any beastry could describe. You're really a vampire, at least one of their spawn. Oh, don't worry. We're all friends under the absolute. I won't bite. Oh, I'd prefer if you did. And he's yours to command. My envy is palpable. I'm sure he really believes that. How utterly adorable. Do you have a name, Spawn? <laughs> a Starian, but, but hold on. Good. Now, a Starian. I've dreamt of being bitten by a vampire since I was a young girl. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to be bitten? To feel your life's blood slipping away. To dance on the edge between life and death. Yes, I want it. I'll even compensate you. A potion of legendary power that forever increases the strength of the one who consumes it. It's not for sale, but it's yours if you bite me. I will have to decline. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you're squandering it. I gave you my answer. Oh, can't you talk some sense into your obstinate charge? How very disappointing. Welcome back, true soul. You've come in the spirit of trade, I hope. What can I do for you? Watch your back. Ugh, the reaction failed. What to do? Perhaps I can pawn it off as a luck potion. I heard you put in a good word for our mates. Cheers. You're the best true soul I ever met. I caught a glimpse of Ketherick and Sorel. 
Wouldn't have the gumption to stick my nose in, like you did, mind. We ought to head out now. Burn everything between here and the city. <laughs> Time's a change. The Absolute's war drums beat loud in your... Took a liking to you, did she? Watch yourself. She breaks her toys once she's done with them. Slaughter well. Stripped of flesh, the warhound is formidable. Spectral eyes meet yours as it growls a challenge. And then it hesitates, gleaming muzzles sampling your scent as if in recognition.
and stripped of flesh, the warhound is... And then it hesitates, gleaming muzzles sampling your scent as if in recognition. relaxes, clearly accustomed to this show of deference within its master's chamber. It turns away and utterly ignores you, as it would any lowly foot soldier. Hmm. What's that? almost beautiful. Imagine what she'd think if she saw him now. Is that blood? No, never mind. Plenty left to see.
crack it open. Melodia Thorn, loving mother, beloved wife. Her light will never be forgotten. the list of characters, but hardly my taste. 